Hi, I'm Ed O'Neill and presenting Privacy Protector Map using Adaptive Kernel Density Estimation. So last year I was able to present SDT Spatial with the USR 2019 about SDT Spatial. And this slide is a recap of that. So we have added some more methods, which I'm going to talk about more. So SDT Spatial is a package to create density maps that protect privacy of individual observations. It has several methods, for example, for creating master maps, for population density, value density, and mean density. There's methods for finding out which locations are sensitive, so um, reveal privacy protected, privacy and sensitive information. So it's a plotting method and as an is sensitive method. And of course, it includes some methods for protecting data. So protect smooth by smoothing data, protect plot tree, and removing sensitive locations at all from your map. What we have added is adaptive smoothing. With protect at depth. So, for example, if you uh, look at the dwellings data, which is included in the package, you can see that it contains uh, locations which are realistic, but also two simulated variables consumption and unemployedness. If you create a C raster object, you will see that 42% of this uh, particular uh, example is sensitive, so this runs the risk of revealing the privacy of these uh, in a, um, consumption. If you plot this with the plot function, you can see that the consumption patterns over on the left side and on the right side, you can see which part of the data is sensitive, considered sensitive, which is indicated with red. So how can you reduce the sensitivity? So you can use a coarse grid, so uh, fine, uh, more coarse grained, remove sensitive locations at all. You can aggregate sensitive cells hierarchically. You can apply spatial smoothing with project smooth, which is a very fine uh, method. And you can apply adaptive smoothing, which is, have, we have added to the package. So why adaptive smoothing? Well, spatial phenomena are not uniformly distributed. So it's a bit uh, um, naive to think that one bandwidth will take care of all, everything. It's not optimal. And in practice, your choice of bandwidth is a trade-off between more detailed areas and very less detailed areas, populated areas. And adaptive smoothing has a promise to, to take this density into account. So high populated areas will be detailed and low populated areas are more smooth. So we use some math to uh, define what is sensitive and how to protect it. These are implemented in the package itself. So P percent rule uh, and the method works by adding adaptive noise. So areas which are less populated contain more noise and highly populated areas contain less noise. The adaptation is from the covariance matrix. So in words, the noise adds, adapts to intensity and, and failure density and low density areas generate more noise, which is fine, but can also give some potential artifacts because uh, the noise may be very big. But for real use cases, this seems to work quite well. So this is one example of this real use case. This is from the energy pattern from enterprises, so a special energy pattern. On the left side, you can see just normal smoothing, and on the right side, you can see adaptive smoothing, um, which is very similar. And you can see that the difference are due to that these areas were more uh, sensitive. So this looks quite nice. So it's the spatial. If you're interested in creating privacy protected maps, this is special would be fine for you, I guess. Just five, if just five lines, you can create a privacy protected map by creating an SSC REST object, applying smoothing, remove sensitive cells, remaining sensitive cells, extract the raster and plot the remaining raster. So thank you for your attention. If you have any questions or just curious, just install the package, it's C spatial and feedback and suggestions are most welcome. Thank you for your attention.